this morning. You know what I'm happy about? The fact that it's now negative seven and no longer negative eight here in Westchester. It's so cold, but it's also very dark out here. But I want to have you take a look at this pond next to me. Now, you might think it's frozen over, but it's not. That ice is actually very thin, and the Westchester firefighters are actually highly trained in ice-related rescues and hope they don't have to put those skills to the test this week. All of our members uh, take advantage of the cold weather climate that we have, so we'll actually go out on the ice in our specialized Mustang ice suits. We'll practice ice rescue and doing what are called go rescues, where we have someone that's fallen through the ice, uh, potentially drowning, and we'll actually go out and make actual rescues of those people uh, and then talk about the EMS uh, care aspect of those patients. And here's a look at that specialized, specialized suit that he was talking about. It will be used on ice rescue calls multiple times a year. Like here, this picture is from 2022 when Westchester firefighters rescued a dog from icy waters. And I'm happy to report that that dog is okay. Yeah, great news for that pet owner and that pet there, Danielle. Did you give any advice for pet owners to keep that from happening to them? Yeah, Stephen, as you know, these retention ponds are in many neighborhoods here in Westchester. He said it's a great idea to make sure your pets are on leashes this week because you do not want your dogs to be wandering onto this ice. Now, if they do, they said do not chase after your dogs. What you should do is just call 911 and they will be there to rescue them. All right, Danielle, so we've gotten pets taken care of. What else should families be aware of if they do live near one of these small ponds? Yes, yeah, Stephen, another big thing to be mindful of is making sure your kids are okay, knowing where they are, if they plan to play outside, especially in the snow. Say we get snow and you can't even see that this is actually ice. You don't want them to fall through. Another thing they said, do not go ice fishing, of course. No need to do that. Another thing is, is they said, if you want to go ice skating, just go to an ice skating rink. Do not try to do this here. So all morning long, we've been trying to see how thick this ice is. So bear with me here. I did find a rock. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's just test this to try to see ah, okay, <laughs> how thick this rock is. Okay, so I'm going to go down here very carefully and test this out for us. Okay, so it slid, so the ice is somewhat thick, but obviously that's only a five pound rock. It would be much different if I would walk out there myself. Yes, we're not, we're not, back to you guys we're not walking across that anytime soon, Danielle. Thanks so much. No. We appreciate the important information for families, pets, and owners this morning, especially with the snow we have coming. That's all going to be covered up, so people do need to be aware.